Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? It is, I almost said the date. It is the final countdown, day six. I just realized I didn't do a video this morning. I had a my son-in-law's birthday party, some things going on this morning and this afternoon. Uh, but before I go further, I have to give out a, well, I don't have to, I want to, a video dedication to my new buddy, George. George is younger than me by a little bit or a lot of bit. We just got done with the crypto consultation, super fun. He had a great portfolio and he's going to do really, really well. That said, final countdown, day six. What could I say that would be of value to you? Well, I'll say this. Weekends are normally, again, I'm not a trader. I'm an investor. And if you don't know the difference between the two, you need to know the difference between the two. So I'm not like on charts all day. I'm not looking at coin market cap all day. But for me, weekends can be a little slow in the crypto space. That's just me. That's my vantage point. I don't want to get 100 emails saying I'm wrong. Well, you could send me an email saying I'm wrong. Um, so, yeah, Saturday, I guess, coin market cap. What do we got here? The global crypto market cap is $1.53 trillion, a 1.67% increase over the last day. So what? Who knows what tomorrow is going to bring? But for those of you that have your popcorn made, and I know you've heard this before, okay? And you've probably heard it from me a few times, so I'm probably guilty of it too. Um, if you've got that popcorn, start popping it Sunday night. Now, why did I say that? See, I'm going to get an email from some guy who lives in his basement saying, what, what's going to happen Sunday night? I have no idea. I'm going to bed Sunday night. That's the only thing I know. Other than that, my, the flavor of my conversation is if you've got popcorn, start popping it Monday. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Start popping it Sunday night. And I think we're going to have a good week this week. You know what I'm saying? Crypto Mentor 99, you said that before. Hey, if this was an exact science, okay, everybody would be doing it. We're doing the best we can, okay? But if you've got popcorn, if you had popcorn that was popped and you didn't eat it, you may want to put it in the microwave again Sunday night. Have some popcorn before you go to work on Monday or take some popcorn to work. Okay, now I'm acting stupid. What I'm saying is tomorrow, I have no idea what the market's going to do. Can I say definitely... I don't know. I'm going to say it now. We're definitely going to start to heat up. So for the, those of you that are like, well, you know, is this the big run up you're talking about? Hey, it, it, it's just part, right? And if this, you know, as Jay says in our trading group, if I knew price and if I knew time, I'd be God in heaven. So everybody relax. We're going good. Let's see what my ICX is at. I just talked to George about this. ICX a buck ninety. Think I got it at forty. Did I get it at forty eight cents? Let's see what our OMG is at. Oh, it's over five. Cool, five twenty three. OMG is on the move, people. Let's let's look at Zap. Almost thirty. Twenty eight and a half. Um, so yeah, get that popcorn out. Start making it Sunday night. And other than that, that's all I know. But um, yeah, love y'all. And George, thanks a lot, man. You made my night better. See you later. Bye-bye.